Today's lesson is on solving one-step equations. We're going to be solving for an unknown value. There are four operations that are used to solve problems in math. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Remember that each operation has an opposite or inverse operation. The inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse of subtraction is addition. The inverse of multiplication is division. And the inverse of division is multiplication. These are their opposite operations. Algebraic equations are always written with numbers and variables. The purpose of algebra is to solve for an unknown quantity, and this unknown quantity is written as a variable, often as x. For examples are using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In each of these problems, the value x is unknown, and we're going to need to solve for their value. Let's start with addition and subtraction. Here we have x plus 6. The goal here is to isolate the variable to solve for x. We're going to draw a line through the equal sign so that we make sure we're working on the correct side of the equation. We're going to find our variable. Look at x. What's happening to x? We're adding 6. So to remove the 6, because we don't want 6 next to x to isolate the variable, we need to do the opposite operation. The opposite of plus 6 is minus 6. Remember that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side in order to keep the equation balanced. 6 minus 6 is 0, so these numbers cancel out. And we're left with x on the left and x equals 11. We have isolated the variable. It's always a good idea to go back and check to make sure your problem is correct. So substitute 11 back in and 11 plus 6 equals 17. Here's a subtraction problem x minus 5 equals 20. Draw a line so you make sure you're working on the right side of the equation. Next, do the opposite to x. Since we're subtracting 5, we're going to add 5 to both sides. We're going to cancel out the 5's and we're left with x equals 25. If we substitute 25 back in, we see that 25 minus 5 does equal 20, so our answer is correct. Next, we'll look at multiplication and division. 9x equals 72. Our goal again is to isolate the variable. What does x equal? We'll draw a line through our equal sign. We'll find the variable and we see that it is being multiplied by 9. The opposite of multiplication is divided by 9. So we divide by 9 and whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other to keep the equation balanced. Since 9 divided by 9 equals 1, we're left with 1x equals 8. The 9's cancel out using division and x equals 8. Here we have x divided by 7 equals 8. Draw a line through your equal sign and work on the side with the variable. Since x is being divided by 7, we're going to do the opposite and multiply by 7 on both sides. Notice that we can cross reduce or cancel out the 7's. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so now we're left with x equals 56. If we substitute our values back into our original problem, we can check our answer. In summary, the goal in algebra is to solve for an unknown value. We are trying to isolate the value variable to find a single value. To do this, we find the variable, ask what's happening to the variable, use the opposite or inverse operation to remove any numbers that are next to the variable, and solve carefully. That's all for one-step equations. Thank you.